Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the Birch reduction, uh, which is reaction uh, reduction of benzene directly to form 1,4-cyclohexadiene. So the Birch reaction is actually a dissolving metal uh, reduction. Uh, you may have encountered dissolving metal reductions in the, the sodium and ammonia reduction of alkynes to, to form trans alkenes. This actually uses a similar uh, reagent system, though there's an alcohol added as a proton source. And um, the mechanism is actually pretty similar because we have a dissolving metal. The, the active reducing agent here is actually sodium metal, which uh, sodium metal has uh, its one single valence electron. Uh, make sure that we know that we are talking about sodium metal and not like sodium cations or, or, or whatever. And um, the sodium ends up donating its electron into the pi system of benzene. Uh, this disrupts all the molecular orbitals with or hither and yon. Um, and I'm going to follow this video with a, with a molecular orbital video so that we can get a sense of, of what, that, what that is. But right now I'm just having some difficulty drawing all of my one electron arrows. So forgive me here as I fail miserably. All right. And this one. And the outcome of this, I believe, you know, if you can follow all of that radicaliness, uh, this is a case where I actually prefer kind of trying to present it at, in a molecular orbital way, but I will settle for the for the the non for the arrow pushing way for a moment. Is uh, so we have single electron transfer. The single electron transfer ends up in what is what is originally the LUMO uh, of benzene here. And then we get a radical anion. And then that radical anion picks up a proton from our alcohol. Uh, common alcohols in, include methanol, uh, tert-butyl alcohol, generally a uh, number of alcohols here work. Tert-butyl alcohol is actually uh, a common alcohol used uh, because it reacts slowly with sodium. You might know that sodium reacts with alcohols as well. Uh, and it's also worth pointing out that these, this radical anion has a number of resonance structures. Uh, and I am not showing you hardly any of them. Uh, I'm not showing you any of the other resonance structures at the moment. Uh, that'll be something worth talking about uh, when we talk about the regio selectivity of this reaction, which is also another video coming up. All right, so now we have a radical and um, sodium donates. Uh, another electron into that radical to make another anion. And you might wonder, you know, Dr. Norris, why why does sodium do that? Why does and why does the anion end up here? Well, those are sodium does that because sodium's a reducing agent, but why the, the anion ends up there and not like some other place is a really good question that does require molecular orbital theory to, to explain. And I'm going to do that in an upcoming video, but I'm not going to do it in this video. And then that anion also picks up a proton. It's important to just know right now that this reaction produces the non-conjugated 
and it has to do with what once this uh, radical forms and once it picks up its extra proton, what the uh, homo of this anion looks like, because that's where the that's what's going to inform where the protein the proton ends up and and. Uh, in the video on molecular orbital theory, we're going to see that it has a large uh, density lobe here, and there isn't really, and it's and it's not as as prevalent in the other possible spots. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to talk about the regioselectivity of this reaction. Uh, when you put another substituent on the ring, uh, it turns out there's two different regiochemical products, and the identity of the substituent controls which one happens. Uh, and then I'm going to finish this up if I have time to with a, excuse me, with the molecular orbital theory video, uh, presenting this mechanism from a molecular orbital theory standpoint. Though that standpoint's not needed to to understand uh, the regioselectivity. That can all be done through resonance. Thank you for watching.